my name's uh, Evan King, and I'm the Vice President of Tonkin Academy. And I just want to talk you through our journey of how we've been introduced front to over the last five years. So five years ago, we were living in some very old accommodation in 1938. It was built, uh, and we started our front to journey off. And the way we started our front to journey was to have people who championed Frontier in their departments. So you can see in our first kind of average year, the take-up wasn't very good because it was just been developed by individual members of staff. The second year, you can see that it didn't really take off much more. Obviously, we must have done some training there because it spiked. So, year three, we moved into our, our new building and it was a fantastic new building. We've got 1,200 computers, we've been very lucky we got into the PSF just before they closed the doors. But as you'll see, even with all that technology, our, our uses didn't really take off. It obviously improved because we now had access to the technology, but it didn't actually improve dramatically. So what we did at the end of this year, we said, Strategically, what we need to do is to say to everyone, you have to use Fronter. So there's no option, you have to use it. And as you see, once you say that to people, your usage goes through the roof. Uh, so you have to bed it in early days on any learning platform, but once you actually say to people, you need to use it, it's, it takes off. And that has now transformed into this year, where we've had our highest usage ever back in October. So. It's a long journey, any information is a long journey, but once you get there, it's worth being there because out of, uh, we've only got 850 something students in the school, so in terms of unique logins, it's now up to 85, 90% of the school population using French on a regular basis. We have run lots of BTECs, and our science department have taken, taken front and, and BTECs together, and our what they've done in Frontier is that they've put all their resources into, into Frontier. So students can allocate all the different assignments, they can go and get all the information they need, all the forms that they need to complete, for, to complete their BTECs within Frontier. What the teachers then done is they set up lots of hand-ins so that they, the students can hand in those all the units that they need to do over the two years of their course. And as they hand it in, it gets marked, it gets commented on, and sometimes it gets sent back. But all the work for their BTEC resides in front of, stays in front of, is assessed in front of. So there's, there's no paperwork involved in the marking and assessment of BTECs for science. The teacher can see what the students have done, what, grades, what, whether they've, what grade they've done. The students can see they have their own version of that and when they log into their individual login. So that at any stage during the year, the teacher knows exactly what they've done, the student knows exactly what they've done and what they've got to do. We also use it, not only for learning, but for online management. Uh, we've, we've developed the system ourselves so that we keep a, we used to buy a system in, it cost us thousands of pounds a year, to monitor what the line management situation is and how it's going in school. So we've set up all these different line management rules. So within there is the head of department. So this is the literacy one. So members of this room now are myself as a vice principal because I am line management to Lee, who is the head of literacy. And the principal, so at any stage, the principal can see anything, any, any developments going on in that department. Um, what we use is we use an activity tool, so it gives you a gap light chart, so you can see these are all the actions that they have to do that they're in their action plan. And within each of these folders, there will be a record of what's happening, some progress. So at any stage during the year, you can go to any of these and find out what's going on. And in terms of myself and Lee meeting, there's his action plan that he keeps doing. And we now have a record of every single conversation we've had through the year. So if you want to see what we've done, and if the head teacher or Oste come in and want to see how, what the conversations are between you and the line management, how the things being line managed, it's all recorded there for you. 
and it goes on and on. So there's quite a big record there. We're now halfway through the year, so we've got quite a quite substantial record of what our, our meetings and discussions were. So where are we going next? We are... Once Pearson and Peter and Frontin start talking to each other, as they all, they all live in the same company, Frontin is fantastic. When everyone talks about cloud technology, you need to get your own cloud. To, me, to my mind, Frontier is our cloud. And one of, the, one of the great things about Frontier is that I had a student yesterday in my ICT lesson and he couldn't find his file on his computer, but he handed it in to me the lesson before. So it's there, stored, on Frontier, so he goes to Frontier, finds it in Frontier, and we can record it from there. So one of the things we're starting to do now is get the students to record more and more work on the Frontier. So that it's, it's backed up, it's a, it's a secure solution, uh, we're already paying through it via our subscription to Frontier, but we've got all this online access that students can get at home now. I can get my work at home, the staff can do their work at home, and it's all stored securely. And the great thing about Frontier is that when, you, when you're doing it, it saves automatically. So there's none of this, I've done three hours of work and I haven't saved it and I've lost it. If you have to work in Frontier, it saves it as you go. We're using more and more Web2 tools now, and a lot of those can be embedded into Frontier. So we're accessing, using Frontier as also our access point. So if there's anything you want to do, we want to do in a classroom situation, the students go into Frontier, and then they access their class page, and from Frontier, they go out into the big wide world or to other, other Web2 tools outside of, the, outside of the classroom. I've just been talking to Frontier because one of the key things now is we're going to bring your own device solution, and more and more students, as you can see, from our, student, our school have got their mobile devices. We're, we're at, we want students to access more and more of their data on their mobile devices, and we're looking for that mobile solution from Frontier. This is what our students say about Frontier. So, they like the feedback. They can see automatic feedback, and sometimes they pester the teachers because they say, well, how do I work in? Well, you've marked it yet. Can I, I, I need to know how I've done and what I need to do next. They know where they are and what they have to do, so that BTEC chart I showed you, so they know what has been handed in, what grade it is, whether it needs to be rewritten, whether it needs to be redone and handed in. And it's, it lets them get their work at home. Every lesson I finish in my, in my digital learning lessons, I get to save it up at the front of. That gives everyone the opportunity then to do their work at home, because they can access their work to, at home, or wherever they are, because it's in front of. It's not stuck on some some school's computer system that they can't get to. And that was Jess Brown from last year who said to me, and for that reason, because she can get all the work at home, etc., she can find her work, she can access her work, she can redo her work. As far as she's concerned, it's, it's, it's her best friend. And just before I finish, to see another few things that I've into front of. Uh, what we've done in order to engage staff even more, we've made up Every time as a member of staff logs into Frontier, they have to see this. So they see this, they can't go anywhere else before they see it. And on there are all our daily cover, briefing notes, etc. So any information that a member of staff will need to know for the day is there, and we're going to develop that up with our students. And then any information, it's all there. But what we do is force our staff into that before they go anywhere else. And I suppose finally, and again with staff and then teaching and learning and making sure teaching and learning really takes off, we have our we have our teaching and learning room. And so that at any time, anything we've ever done, any presentations, any forms that need to be filled out, anything to do with lesson plans, it's all there for them. So if you want to get front to really take it off, you have to get your staff on board. And you saw that in the early days where once you start saying the staff, you have to use it and you make staff force to use it, it becomes a live thing. And our school now is, I think we have 90% usage every month. It's a key form. We have all our schemes of learning there. We have all our, lot, lots of information and learning resources for every single class. Uh, and I believe now we've truly embedded Frontier into our, into our school and we're now pushing Frontier to the, to the next stage to make it even more usable for our students. Thank you very much.